Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time we're going to talk about the difference between wireless mice and Bluetooth mice. There's some small differences in there and what you'll notice really, like I got a, a small wireless mouse here and one of the differences is that with a wireless mouse you're going to have a adapter like a USB thumb drive type of a thing and they're usually very small like this so they only stick out as much as that black part. So it's not going to be taking up a lot of room. It's only taking up a USB port which may be a problem for you and may be a reason to go with a Bluetooth mouse versus a wireless because of it having to take that USB port. You could get a USB hub and that'll extend the number of USB ports that you have, but um, the type of mouse, if you're already stuck with the USB and you don't wanna to have to get another mouse, you may have to get a USB hub. So then you could look at the difference of getting a USB hub to extend the number of ports versus just getting yourself a Bluetooth mouse. Another difference between the wireless and Bluetooth is that the wireless is a lot easier to install. You simply plug in the USB adapter into your computer, wait a couple of seconds, and then the mouse will be detectable and it will just start working. With a Bluetooth device, you have to go into the Bluetooth settings on your computer and turn on your Bluetooth mouse set it to be discoverable, which is usually just pressing a button on the bottom of it, and then telling the computer to search for any new Bluetooth devices. You should see it show up in your list and then you can just select it and then your mouse will start working. So it's a few more steps involved in setting up a Bluetooth mouse versus a wireless one, but it does free up that extra USB port and they basically will work the same. There is something to be said about a Bluetooth range is shorter than a wireless, but when we're talking about keyboards and mice, they're sitting right there beside the computer. So there is no concern about the range in that setting. With that said though, what I found even with these wireless adapters, some people, depending on the type of desk that they had and the setup, when it was plugged in the back of the computer, it was a little bit spotty with the mouse not working sometimes. So we take that adapter out of the back of the computer, plug it into the front, and then it was working a lot better. So that's really one of the main differences between a wireless and a Bluetooth mouse and why you may choose one over the other. So if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for other videos as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.